Hey, right, Shalom, Mikey. This is your brother Karab from GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakwadash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts of waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel and Shalom to the sisters that subscribe as well, okay? Now this lesson, what I want to go into is, uh, what I'll name it is camaraderie, okay? Camaraderie. And, uh, you know, I'll go into the definition of it, but, um, you know, roughly speaking on it is, um, you know, what we're part of, man, okay? And you learn in this faith, man, the, 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 the simplest way and the straightest way, okay, to salvation is to build up camaraderie, camaraderie with, with the brotherhood, man, okay? And, and when you look at it in depth, okay, you see why the Heavenly Father set it up that way, okay? Because if you're dealing with the everyday rigors of life, okay, and dealing with it being in this faith, okay, without, you know, with this feeble flesh that we've been put in, Okay, but you know how the scriptures say that we're putting off the old man. The old man died daily, but the uh, spirit is renewed daily, you know. But yet and still, we, we're in the worst set of flesh that we've ever been in, okay. And uh, coming back to spirituality, which we've been away from for thousands of years, you see. So it's obviously a trial and a test, okay. But, hey, we got Yahweh Shai, you know. Yahweh Shai backing us up, okay. So that's why we, we can never... Um, you know, we can never get too down, like the scriptures say, lift up the feeble hands and the, fee uh, the feeble knees, you know, and put off that weak nature, okay? So that's, the, that's pretty much the balance in it, you know? But what helps all of those things, what helps you to, to have a perfect balance of, the, of all those things is, is the brotherhood, man, okay? And we say it, you know, a lot of times, not, and, and I won't say cliche, man, because it feels absolutely good, but that's what we're accustomed to now. Okay, we're not accustomed to going around brothers, you know, or going around niggas in the world and just arguing and talking about folly and bullshit all day, man. Okay, we actually go around men that we can share sentiments about, man. Okay, we can open up to dudes who we, we really don't know, you know, we really don't know, but through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah, okay, we, we, we're bonded, man, we're joined at the hip, okay, we brothers in arms. You know, and, and and just reflecting on that aspect of our walk in the faith is 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 um it's priceless, man. Okay, because ultimately the Most High put that in our lives so that we can have help on this way to salvation. Because you know, like the scriptures say, you know, every man has to be persuaded in his own mind. Um, we all have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, but we got brothers that. You know, men who believe the same as we do. We believe that personally. You know, I believe that. And then the most I put me around other men that believe the same thing. So our purpose and our goal is the same, you know, and that should show people the divineness of what, what, what this thing is, man. You know, mainly with uh, Great Millstone, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the faction of Great Millstone. People should, you know, that should that should be, uh, uh, you know, something to marvel at within itself. That you got Negroes, Latinos, uh, uh, and Native Native American and, and uh, Reubenite men, okay, or Seminole Indian men, all moving on one accord, and ain't no arguing. You know, every now and then, you know, you know, iron sharpen the vine, but for the most part, it's just complete love, man. Okay, and more so than that, more so than the vibration of hanging out with each other, man, it's the edification that comes out and the knowledge that's shared. When you're around like-minded men, okay? And brothers, we, we ought to, you know, take advantage of that, man. You know, take advantage of being around the wisest men that the planet has to offer. <laughs> you see? You know? But what I want to uh, get into is like the sentiments that are felt and, and, and just the vibration that the scriptures push about being, you know, brotherly and being around a brotherhood, man. Okay? It's ultimately your help. You see? Your biggest help in this walk, man. Okay? 
So I'll get into a few precepts. Matter of fact, let's get the uh, definition of camaraderie first. It says uh, companionship, good fellowship uh, from French com com camaraderie. Okay. That's pretty plain, you know. But you see, it says companionship, good fellowship. And that's what the Most High has uh, made us a part of. Okay. Good fellowship. Not a bunch of niggas arguing and, and, and smoking dope and. You know, talking about having sex with other men's wives. None of that shit, man. It's, it's complete love. And that's how you know that it's divine. That should compel you to want to go harder in this thing, man. The most high is taking you out of the world, away from absolute madness and chaos. You know, shit that we really, we really never, you know, were 100% uh, uh, you know, fond of, man. You know, we may have fell in certain different lanes, okay? But it was through the rigors of life. And it was just, you know... You know, what, what What else to do, you know? But now we've been put in a place where, look, it ain't nothing but love and, 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 and charity being shared every single time we connect, man. Okay? Uh, I think I got it in the, uh, yeah, the, the Dexter's, uh, Salak and Miriam Webster's. It says the uh, camaraderie, um, spirit of friendly, good fellowship you see so that's exactly what we have man and this, we we exemplify the true uh, meaning of the word okay and it's often uh you know when you when you when it says a, a comrade okay um pretty much what is the root word of uh, of camarad camaraderie okay it simply means men that share the same activities okay and, and spend a lot of time around each other man you see and, it, and nothing's changed, man. That's why the scriptures say, uh, get thee be times next to a godly man, you know? Uh, roughly paraphrase, I, think, I believe that's in the book of Sirach, okay? Because it's beneficial. It's extremely beneficial, man, you know? Because for the most part, a lot of the men in the faith, you know, in the world, we were what? Uh, pretty much uh, introverts, man, like the state of ourselves. Most brothers, you know, I say that. Most brothers I've spoken with, okay, can attest that they were uh, pretty much introverts. Okay? But when you get in this truth, man, you have to be the opposite. Now, that doesn't mean, you know, every single day, but hey, you know, the more the merrier. Uh, this says uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, and we'll start at, um, at 9. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. It says, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. And that's just plain, man, you know. Now, you have certain instances where brothers bring it out by themselves, you know, and they started camps and they, you know, probably can't accumulate uh, fruit at this point, you know. But for the most part, the, 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 the mindset should be, you know, I need to be around like minded men. OK. And um, when you read the scriptures, that's the same thing you find out. Like, uh, who was that? Um, Elijah. OK. When he was, uh, you know, when uh, damn, I can't remember her name. Um. Pretty much the wicked prophetess and her husband uh, were chasing, you know, pretty much chasing Elijah and, and putting all the other prophets to death, you know. And he, he feared that he was the only prophet left, you see. But it's, it's, it's comforting when you have other men that believe how you believe and dare to comfort you, man, and also to help you, whether it be spiritually or physically. You see, and that's why Yahweh Shah said that at the Garden of Gethsemane, man, when the when the when the brothers fell asleep, the disciples fell asleep. You know, he was kind of vexed. He like, you know, this is my hour, man, and you guys sleeping on me, man. You know, so it just shows you the the, the power. Okay, um, Ecclesiastes four and nine. It says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he fit, when he falleth. For he have not another to help him up, you see, and that's just breaking it all, all the way down, you know. And I, I pretty much witnessed that with this guy, you know, who came into the faith a little while. I won't mention his name, and um, uh, uh, you know, I had found out he was offered to come join the camp, and he chose not to. He wanted to do it himself, and lo and behold, the Edomite pulled up on him, you know. Because he was being bold, like we'll count it to be, uh, uh, you know, um, you know, appointed to be. And um, either might up to, uh, pull the gun on him and, he, and you know, he, he actually, 
he actually saw the uh, uh, the Most High, man. That's how much in fear he was, man. You know. But see that, but that just shows, you know. And, and maybe a couple weeks later, the brothers in Dallas had a gun pulled on them, and the the, the response was totally opposite, man. Why? Because first, the spirit is dealing with uh, Great Millstone Dallas, okay? And the word has emboldened them, man. You see? And then also, their power and righteous numbers. You see? So it says, uh, again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken, man. Okay? So they're just showing you, look, there's power in, 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 in spiritual and in, in holy numbers, man. Okay? Now, the Heavenly Father can take the smallest amount of men and, and destroy the earth. Okay? Or one angel can uh, uh, make the earth implode. Okay? So it ain't necessarily about quantity. You see? But as far as I walk and the way that we move, hey, the more the merrier. Okay? When, of course, dealing with spirituality and holiness. You see? Not really appointed to go and do this by yourself. Um, let's go to Sirach. Uh, where is it? Matter of fact, let's go to Sirach. Yep, this is Sirach chapter 6. And you know this uh this chapter is pretty uh, uh pretty heavy with dealing. You see, like it says here, true and false friends. You know, but I get straight to the point. This is uh Sirach six, and I started thirteen. It says, "Separate thyself from thine, separate thyself from thine enemies, and take heed of thy friends." Okay, and that's exactly what we had to do when we first came into this faith, man. Okay. The scriptures say, what fellowship have righteousness with wickedness, okay? Because if, they, if they're not a part of this fold, and they don't believe in Yahweh, by Shimei, or Shai, man, okay? Or teach the doctrine that's being taught at Great Millstone, chances are they're not in the faith, man, okay? And they're not your friend. They're enemies, okay? And we find that out, okay? The elder apostles been screaming that for years. Hey, don't be, you know, they, they told us, look, you know, you can watch those other camps, but if you get caught out there, that's on you. Those guys do not have the truth. Okay, and they've been proving it for years. And now, guess what? These people have turned on us and became, become our enemies, man. Okay, selling out to the devil. Okay, whether one way or another. Okay, either, either they sold out uh, uh, monetarily <coughs> to Esau Edom, which is, the Satan, which is Satan, the devil, and that dragon, and the great serpent. You see? So either way, they've sold out, man, and become our enemies. Okay, it says... Um, where are we? Yeah, I read that again, verse 13. Separate thyself from thine enemies and take heed of thy friends. Verse 14 is the point. It says, a faithful friend is a strong defense. And he that have found such and one have found a treasure. You see? And show you how, how precious it is, man. Okay, and a lot of times, you know, brothers that have demons fucking with them on that tip, man. You know, nah, you know, those, those brothers, they don't, want, they don't want you around them. You know, all type of madness, man. Okay? Why? Because uh, those demons know that they, that empowers you, man. That strengthens you. You can't name one time you went around the brothers and was like, ah, man, I should have stayed home. Nah, it's times where you like, man, I just want to relax, man. I'm, I'm tired of shit, you know? And then all of a sudden you, you get up and go around the brothers and then boom, you like, man, wow, if I hadn't have gone, man, you know? So it's just showing you the, the, the power and the spirituality behind it. It says a faithful friend, uh, no, Salakia, uh, verse 15, nothing doth countervail a faithful friend and his excellency is invaluable. A faithful friend is the medicine of life. You see that? Mosiah faith says a faithful friend is the medicine of life. And we damn sure feel it, man. Okay? I had some... Uh, uh, Pretty bad infirmities the past few months, man. And every time I got around the brothers, man, it subsided and then eventually it went away, man. Okay? And there are numerous accounts of brothers going through that. You see? 
It says, And they that fear Yahweh by Shimei shah shall find him. Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright, for as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. Okay? And that proves that two can't walk uh, together unless they be agreed. And that's what we're a part of, man. We ain't walking with nobody that's contrary to what, we, what we're what we about, man. And that's how life should be anyway, man. Like the saying in the world, birds of a feather flock together. Okay? You see dogs with dogs, cats with cats. Okay? We're humans. We're, we're uh, we've been made in the image of the Heavenly Father. Okay? So we're going to be moving on a different frequency. Meaning what? That... Just because we're humans, we 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 we, we don't we um we can't hang together, you know, and be cool. It'll be forced, and then what we'll proved that that's not how the heavenly Father intended things. Okay, He was always a separatist, going all the way back to the tower. You see. Uh, let's get another precept. This is um. This is Second Samuel. Chapter one. Okay, and this is pretty much the account of Jonathan and um, uh, our King David. Okay, and then the love that they they had, you know, and it was deep, man. You know, uh, here it is, um, King David. I mean, uh, uh, Jonathan's father is trying to put King David to death. Okay, and Jonathan is pretty much dishonoring the king, going to tell um, uh, David to 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 run here and run there. My father's here chasing you, you know. But just showing you, look, look at what, what, what if, you know, of course, you know, uh, King David had the most high with him. OK, but far as it manifests, what if he didn't have, you know, Jonathan to do those things for him, man? You see, that, that was that was deadly serious. And the most high gave him a companion, a comrade, you know, and they built camaraderie. OK, so much till that is documented in the scriptures. You see, so this is Second Samuel chapter one. And we'll start at, uh, let's start at 23. This is 2 Samuel 1 and 23. It says, Saul and Jonathan were lovely and pleasant in their lives. And in their death, they were not divided. They were swifter than eagles. They were stronger than lions. Okay. So it's just showing you the companionship that Saul and, and Jonathan, his son, had, man. Okay. But yet and still, what did he do? He went and, 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 and warned his friend, David, man. OK, who he fervently loved, a man who he knew to to, uh, 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 you know, fear the most high. You see, and he knew his father was off. OK, but he chose to to deal with righteousness over wickedness. It says. Um, 24, ye daughters of Israel, weep over Saul, who clothed you in scarlet with other delights, who put on ornaments of gold upon your apparel. How are the mighty fallen in the midst of the battle? O Jonathan, thou was slain in thy high places. Verse 26, it says, I am distressed for thee. Okay, and this is uh, pretty much King David speaking. It says, I am distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant has thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women. It says, how are the mighty fallen and the weapons of war perish? Okay, so the point is, it says, I read that again. It says, verse 26, I am distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant has thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women. Okay. And then, you know, I was, you know, looking up this precept, man, and I went online, and, you know, just a sidebar, like just showing you how fucking evil and wicked Esau is, man. I actually had an article saying, were John, were Jonathan and, and David lovers? <sighs> like, wow, really? OK, nothing about this story, you know, insinuated they were lovers, man, you know. But anyway, um, the point is the love that they shared, that brotherly love that they shared, it compares the love of women. OK, and guess what? That's the love we have for one another, man. OK, the times that we spend together with the brothers, man, it's impeccable. You know, you, and there's, there's some of the best times you've ever had in your life. Around men that you rarely, you barely know, man. Okay, but the 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 the, the um the balancing factor of that is that you know those men around you will lay their life on the line for you. You see, yet yeah, you barely know them. You know, you see them maybe three, four times a week. You know, but you will lay your life down for them, and they would lay theirs down for you. Okay, and it's all love. 
That has to be Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. You see? It's the little things that really build your faith, man. You know? And I'll close out with this one. This is, you know, one of the, uh, it says, um, Psalms 133 and 1, it says, Behold. Okay, and it says a song of degrees of David. You see? <laughs> and, and that's the spirit, you know? And you know what is pretty much inspired this, you know? His, uh, one of the things that inspired it was the love that he had for his bro uh, uh, his friend, or who he considered his brother, uh, Jonathan. You see? Uh, this is Psalms 133 and 1. It says a song of degrees of David. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, but went down to the skirts of his garments and the dew of Hernan, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there, Yahweh Shem Yahushai commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Okay? And that's exactly how it feels, man. Okay? And guess what? We haven't even seen the beginning of it yet. Okay? The tip of the beginning. Okay, because we still in hell, man. Okay, these times are going to be forgotten compared to the times that are to come. Okay, so just stay in the fold, brother. Stay, stay, hey, charity, exude those fruits of the spirit, man. Okay, it's about us. Okay, the hopefully elect. Okay, and ultimately, okay, above all of all is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay, and he sent us to feed his sheep. So as long as we're doing that, brother, we're in a good stead. So Lord willing, I was edified with that. I say Shalom.